Welcome everybody to Year 8 Options. Um, I'm here to talk to you about GCSE Media Studies, which we offer um, at South Nottinghamshire Academy. Um, so first of all, who are the teachers? Um, primarily it's me, uh, Miss Mees. I teach um, GCSE and A-Level currently at South Nottinghamshire Academy. Um, and also Miss Seaton currently teaches A-Level Media as well. So in terms of structure of the course, um, the course is split over three years, like all other GCSE um, options that you will take at South Nightingale Academy. Year nine serves as a um, sort of introductory year. Uh, we look at the key skills um, and the key terms that you will need in both year 10 and year 11. The first half of that year is looking at a range of different texts um, that will help you um, in building those key skills and, and learning key terms as well. After Christmas, we then start looking at our set texts. There are a lot of set texts. Uh, this subject is all about uh, giving you the experience of looking at a range um, of different media products. Um, and that's why we start looking at them um, after Christmas. So we start off looking at magazines um, and then we move on to film later on in the year and newspapers as well. In year 10, we continue with this. Uh, we look at radio and video games um, and then towards the end of the year you get to do your coursework element of the course which I'll explain in more detail later on. And then finally in year 11 uh, that is centred around revision uh, in preparation for your exams um, which you have at the end of the year. So in terms of content then there is a wide range of content that we study in GCSE Media. Um, and the reason that we do this is to give you all um, a really broad knowledge um, of media and what it has to offer. What this does is allow students to um, kind of have experience in learning something that they, they really enjoy or have an interest in. So, for example, if one of you has a really um, kind of desire to learn about video games, then obviously that will come up. Uh, equally, if you have a very um, sort of very interested in newspapers or film, then that also comes up. So you can see on there that there are um, so much different areas that we look at within the media. So we look at magazines, radio, TV, film, advertising, newspapers, video games and music video. Um, and on the screen there, I've also put some examples of set text that are currently on the specification. Uh, they do change, um, so they might change before the time uh, that you get into year 11, um, but they tend to be fairly similar. So you can see on there um, as some examples. We look at Taylor Swift, we look at Fortnite, we look at James Bond, uh, we look at Luther when you're slightly older, um, we look at Quality Street, so loads and loads of different things that we have a look at. So as well as looking at both seen and unseen texts, uh, we need to study uh, these products in relation to what we call a framework. Now, a framework is just a way in which that we analyse uh, products. And I'll try and briefly talk to you about uh, what that means. So the first area we look at in relation to these products is media language. Now, media language just refers to what that media product uses to convey a meaning. So, for example, a headline would be an example of media language or a main image. And as students, um, as media students, you need to be able to identify these media language terms um, and understand what meanings they communicate. We also need to look at representation and representation refers to the way in which uh, particular people or events or issues are represented in a product. Um, and this is the area that students uh, enjoy the most in terms of analysing. Um, because it allows you to uh, kind of spark debates um, and think a little bit outside the box for how um, products and industries want to represent a certain idea or person. Uh, the other two areas we look at are um, about sort of your knowledge and your understanding of how the um, industry works. So the first area you look at is how media industries uh, produce, how they market um, their products, um, across different platforms um, and how they circulate as well. Um, and we also look at audiences, so how media products target, um, reach and address audiences um, and how they sort of construct their audiences. In terms of skills then, there are so many skills that media um, can offer um, and ones that will serve you uh, well in whatever you choose to do in the future. Um, but on the screen, I've just kind of bullet pointed some key ones um, that I think are perhaps the most important. So 
So first of all, the ability to think critically, uh, make informed decisions um, and analyse. Uh, to gain understanding and uh, a knowledge and understanding on a range of important media issues. Um, again, I think this is one of the most uh, kind of unique things that media offers is that it looks at, at the contemporary. Uh, we do look at historical texts as well, um, but you know we really do look at what is happening in the now um, and students find that really engaging um, because they're learning things that, that matter to them and that they are a part of it in reality as well. You will develop an appreciation and an understanding um, of the media. And as I've just said, both historically and currently, um, whether that's to do with culture or politics. Uh, you will understand and apply specialist subject uh, terminology. Uh, media, like a lot of other subjects, has its own uh, unique way of analysing and terms what it uses. Uh, and with this, you'll be able to analyse and compare media products um, and how they create these meanings. You'll also um, be able to apply theory and have a theoretical understanding. Now, that sounds quite high level um, and it is something which we do in more detail at A-level and you'll do in more detail if you choose to take it at a university. Um, but it's definitely something we touch upon. Uh, and finally, another skill is the ability to develop your practical skills. Um, it does have a coursework element um, and the opportunity for you to create your own media product. Um, so definitely um, developing those practical, uh, creative um, and imagina imagination as well. So in terms of assessment then, um, the course is split into three. Uh, so you have component one, component two and component three. Both component one and component two are looking at seen and unseen texts. Um, and they are both written examinations. They are both equal in length, so one hour, 30 minutes, and they are both taken at the end of year 11. Component 3, however, is a coursework element. It's a non-exam assessment. Uh, it's 30% of your qualification, so almost a third. Um, and this we will start doing at the end of year 10, um, and the deadline will be in year 11. Um, but it's a great um, opportunity for you to um, kind of have some time away from preparing for exams um, because you can work sort of more um, slowly on that and in more detail and over time and um, sort of perfecting your own media product. Um, and from past years, we have seen some um, incredible um, creative work from our students. So who does the course suit then? Um, so I guess the key thing is anybody who likes English is more than likely going to enjoy studying media. Um, but other than that, students who enjoy thinking critically, analysing text, debating or working collaboratively together, um, completing analytical writing, creating their own products um, and expanding their knowledge of the world around them. In terms of future pathways then, there are loads of future pathways that media can offer you. I've tried to put some of them on the screen for you there just to give you um, kind of a brief impression of what it can offer. So journalism, marketing, photography, um, loads and loads of different jobs. I've linked a, a BBC bite size link which, which covers some in more detail um, if you'd like to have a look. Um, and obviously at South Nottinghamshire Academy we offer it at A level as well um, and it's also available at university if you wish to take it um, as a course. Um, so on the screen, I've just left some student voice and I've tried to take a range from our current students, uh, both in um, year 12 and year 13 and year 9, um, just so you can sort of see um, what the different years have to say about GCSE media. Um, so I won't go through that in, in too much detail, but please do have a look um, and see obviously what they have to say um, about the course um, at South Nottinghamshire Academy. Thank you so much for listening um, and hopefully I see some of you uh, next year in GCSE Media Studies. Thank you.